Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing a cottage and I'm a very um, specially interested in the perspective lines which you will see when you are drawing outside or just at home but just to point out what the main perspective lines are when uh, your disappearing points are uh, going beyond the space of drawing now the tutorial itself will be done on uh, this kind of paper it's by Stratmore it's a toned gray it's a very nice sketchbook uh, it opens very easily and you can take it on your lap when drawing outside now this is a quick sketch of the building that we are going to draw in this tutorial and what you want to do first when drawing any kind of building or drawing outside a landscape is to position where is my horizon now that's the surface of the earth of course and here I will be checking where my disappearing point will be and as you can see it is outside of the space that I'm drawing in later on now I will check if my sketch was correct and as I can see here the pillars are a bit off but I correct them now with the ruler this is my top line for the front of the portal that's correct and here on top of the roof that one is okay too also the one on the building on the right that goes to the left disappearing point too and now this is somewhat more difficult because this is the line that is going to the disappearing point on the right side now here I have to correct it quite a bit I see but as you can see that uh, right disappearing point is way beyond to the right so actually I cannot draw this one in so what I do then is I kind of imagine how those lines are going now the main important thing is that you have your left disappearing point locked and the right disappearing point is just um, by guessing but that's okay if you are making an, an urban drawing or uh, a drawing uh, out in the open space it is just lovely that not everything is all that correct now this is the space that I'm going to draw in and of course my disappearing points are uh, well on the left side outside of my space and on the right side way off but what I can do is imagine how those lines go now I've drawn these in for you and I will show you how I make use of them to start drawing this building I've started a patreon page and here you can see me drawing in real time of course and you can find all kinds of tips on drawing any kind of subject in any kind of material and you can join me there support me for only two or five dollars per month now let's continue drawing here and what is very wise to do 
is to start up your setup with a simple graphite pencil. Here I'm drawing in the pillars and I'm making use of my disappearing points to decide where these are going to be. Here in the back there is a door, an entrance for the building that is on the right and uh, also I want to draw in uh, a little bit of a pavement and some well, a trottoir if you like. So I place some lines in too, but I keep the lines as simple as possible. Now, for instance, here I make a boo-boo. You can simply take your eraser and then correct your drawing. So, well, it's just nice and well, kind of easy to simply start with a graphite. When you're more advanced, of course, you can draw in directly with ink or whatever material you want. Now here on the horizon I'm placing in the line of trees uh, that are way in the back and what's a nice detail you can always put in some extra dark pine trees for instance that are just behind uh, the, the softer trees on the front just make it a little bit interesting and there are some meadows uh, also and once you have all your lines in you can go over this with a fine liner now this is a Stettler fine liner 0.3 and the nice thing about this is uh, when you want to continue a drawing those lines will be permanent and once you've put in all the things that you want to tell in your drawing you can start um, well combining this for instance with watercolor or with pen pastel or pastel uh, pencils for instance or any medium you want now here I've drawn in some some flowers and uh, I'm putting in the tiles for the for the pavement keeping notice of, of the perspective of course but I do not want to draw in just everything just some main lines that are important to me and that tells my story. Now that's the fun part of drawing this way a little bit urban is that you just tell with as little lines as possible the story that you want to tell. I put in some grasses and maybe a little fence that's just noticeable but not much more now once you have your lines in you can erase uh, lines that disturb your drawing of course and then you can start hitting it with some color Now, color creates uh, the kind of ambience that you want to tell. Maybe you want it to be a summer day, or maybe you want it to be a very rainy day, or whatever. Your colors will tell your viewer what kind of uh, time of day it is, uh, or if there's a thunderstorm coming up, or whatever you want. And here I'm using my pastel pencils and I'm directing the clouds towards the building. 
because I want all the attention to go to that building. Now, guess the light is coming uh, from our left. Then the sun will hit this building. It's a sunny day in this case. And I can um, well make the building pop out a little bit more. Just by placing in all the white and the lights that are on the building but also on the fields in the back and here on the pavement and just the underside of the door just a little bit but as you can see instantly your drawing will come alive and this is a very much fun to do, especially when you are using a grey uh, pastel paper for instance. You can make those whites pop out and when you shift to a darker grey you can also put in some shadows. Now combining those shadows and the very sunny bright parts your drawing will come alive even more. Here I'm using a very light pink and I use that for the shadow side of the uh, white painted uh, front portal, a little bit on the tiles on the roof and the pink and the grey work excellently together. Now what is also very much fun is to take some primary color like for instance a bright yellow and make some flowers pop out I'm putting some extra white on the details that I want to get most attention and here for the bush that is growing over the building on the right I place in a little bit of darker pink with yellow. Now this makes uh, and gives my drawing extra perspective because the bright colors will pop up in front and with the very light gray I ease down the sky and the pine tree on the back. So, here's my quick sketch. I hope you enjoyed it and you will give it a try. So please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you again next Friday.